Greetings, this is Father Michael with our Word of the Week. This week's word is yoke. Yoke. What is a yoke? Well, I'm not talking about eggs here, but I'm talking about that apparatus that's used for plowing, for churning up the soil that Jesus uses in today's gospel as a symbol of what it looks like to have the Lord indeed be present to us in our sorrows. Let's get specific, won't we? So Jesus says, perhaps the most, one of the most comforting lines of all of the scripture, he says, come to me, all you who are burdened, who are weary, and I will give you rest. Take my yoke upon your shoulders, for my yoke is easy and my burden is light. Well, it's an interesting kind of symbol the Lord uses there because a yoke is, as I say, kind of apparatus that was kind of strapped or put across the shoulders of the oxen that would plow the fields. And it was a way to keep that team, if you will, together, plowing in a straight line, plowing in a way that they were working uh, together. In other words, you don't simply have one yoke, but the yoke bridged the two working as a team. And what is Jesus saying? He's saying that when it comes to our sufferings, when it comes to the difficulties of our life, those things which can keep us from loving God and others, the deepest impediment is often the isolation that comes with suffering. We all know the experience. Suffering can often cause us not to be our best selves, right? Fear, anxiety, worry, physical infirmity, mental or psychological angst. These things not only bring their own forms of suffering, but they often cut us off from our relationships that could precisely help in healing or ameliorating the situation. What Jesus is saying is there is no suffering in our lives that we endure alone if we don't want to. <laughs> That's the key. In other words, Jesus says, take my yoke. And that yoke is always has a double space, one for us and one for the Lord. It means that in the midst of our sufferings, in the midst of our travails, the Lord is with us in order to keep us strong in perseverance and courage in the reality that there is nothing that we could suffer that the Lord can't use for his glory and for our salvation. You know, perhaps uh, the very famous kind of poem of footprints, right? <laughs> Where the man who journeys on the sand and sees two sets of footprints, but notices what? That at certain points, there's only one set of footprints and they are correlated precisely with those difficult moments in his life. And he asks the Lord as he looks back on his life and says, Hey, Lord, precisely when I needed you, it looks like there's only one set of footprints. You left me on my own. And of course, the Lord says, no, to the contrary. Those were the moments when I picked you up. Those footprints you saw were mine. I was holding you upright. I was carrying you with care so that you might have the strength to keep going. Today, the Lord then promises that no suffering, no injury, no wound in our life need be experienced simply alone. And it takes a sense of humility, a sense of meekness to allow the Lord to carry our crosses with us. Just as Jesus had help on his road and way of the cross with Simon who helped him carry his cross, so too we ask the Lord to help us carry our crosses that the burden we carry, no matter how heavy, no matter how troublesome, no matter how frustrating, no matter how seemingly isolating it might feel, we know that with the Lord, we can continue to carry it all the way up through our own sense of cross, death, the resurrection. Amen, amen. If you're enjoying these videos, do like, comment, subscribe. Also go to our website. May the Lord indeed 
radiate in your life. And may we radiate the joy of the gospel here in the heart of the city.